प्लीज नोट लेबर मार्केट इम्पैक्ट असेसमेंट अप्रूवल्स और जॉब ऑफर आर नॉट सेलेबल इट्स अ क्राइम टू पे मनी टू समबडी टू अरेंज अ फोनी जॉब ऑफर फ्रॉम यू Ladies and gentlemen this is Sajad Malik I am a barrister and solicitor a Canadian business and immigration lawyer and I am speaking to you from my office in Oakville Ontario Canada Today I will take up an important topic point out in this video which we very commonly receive from various countries from very educated candidates sometimes are that they believe their a representative or an agent will be able to provide them a job from Canada a job offer from Canada and uh, we have seen that people are paying 30 40 50000 dollars to some illegal representatives unauthorized representatives who promise them that we'll get you a job inside canada if you pay us this much amount of money we'll not only get you a job offer from within canada but we'll also get you the labor market impact assessment approval from this please note labor market impact assessment approvals or job offers are not sellable it's a crime to pay money to somebody to arrange a phony job offer from you labor market impact assessment is a process in which canadian employer that process is for the benefit of a canadian employer if a canadian employer is unable to hire a canadian or a permanent resident resident to do a job that individual or that corporation or that partnership or any other legal entity they have to go to the government of canada they have to demonstrate that they have tried their best and they have conducted recruitment efforts to hire a canadian or a permanent resident to do that job and then they found nobody to match uh, nobody with that skill set to fill out that position so they asked the government service canada employment and social development of canada to allow them to hire a foreign national so when a, an employer is doing that process it's an employer driven process it, a candidate has nothing to do with the labor market impact assessment application uh, and uh, a candidate has nothing to pay for this you don't you're not required to pay for it. it's the employer it's for employer's benefit it's the employer's job to get that lmi approval it's the money which employer has to pay to the lawyers or in the recruitment efforts and everything and what once that employer gets an approval that's the time when that approval is uh, shared with the applicant with the candidate with the new employee and then that person applies for uh, for the work permit so anybody approaching you or coming to you with a promise that they can get you a job offer they can get you a lmi approval and asking money for that uh, for the, this process 30 40 50000 dollars is not doing a legal act they are only trying to defraud you because you are a foreign national you're not aware of it and look as a foreign national when you are looking for a job in your own country you go to a headhunter or you apply directly to the organizations which you are hiring you don't pay a headhunter even when you are being hired within your own country because that's the employer's job to you know if they are using a headhunter to uh, get uh, you know competent candidates and to get eligible candidates interview them and finally select it's the employer even abroad who pays that headhunter to, uh, who has helped them hire a candidate so in canada again labor market impact assessment process is, uh, is an employer driven process in that process the employer has to conduct all that exercise that application they have to pay the lawyers or the government or any recruitment agencies involved in it or any uh, recruitment efforts they undertake you have nothing to do so please uh, keep in mind that all those paid lmis or paid job offers is a scam and if you become a victim to that you will not only be in uh, violation of canadian law but there's a huge risk that you'll not get that amount back and then you'll have no remedy on it another kind of fraud which we have noticed over a period of time is that people go on webs so there's so many videos available on youtube and the video channels which are being run by the youtube they are run from other countries not canada not united states but sometimes from um, you know those countries on which canada has no control and they keep on um, you know uploading those videos which are based on uh, weak information they are not lawyers they are not consultants authorized legal consultants so they are just looking at a few websites taking content from there and then they are creating those videos which most of the times have incorrect information on them most of the times they theoretically pick up that information from various sources and try to create a video 
and they have no practical experience of working on those kind of applications or so. So they'll lower a lot of clients uh, or a lot of uh, inquiries from uh, those channels and we have seen even they, ha they have hundreds, hundreds of thousands of uh, followers on those YouTube channels but the information which is being distributed is incorrect that's not as per law and they are uh, advising you incorrectly on this based on which you may be able to may be taking some decisions which are incorrect as per law and that leads to a bad decision in your case thank you very much if you like the video please click button on the screen and uh, please do not hesitate to reach out to us and i'll be more than happy to advise you in a formal setting on uh, your different immigration and citizenship related legal issues Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day.